You know, I'm often asked to see a patient who has what's called coronary artery disease or blockages in their heart arteries. Those patients will often present with chest pain, a discomfort in their chest, often brought on by activities, or they might even present having a heart attack. The patient will then undergo an imaging study to identify where the blockages are in their arteries. This is done by passing a small catheter in their blood vessel up to the heart and then into the small heart arteries. A dye is injected in the heart arteries, which then demonstrates where the blockages are. What this study is is like a road map for me as a surgeon, and it tells me how to treat their problem, how many and what kind of bypasses do I need to perform. And what I mean by bypasses, those are the things that we do that go around the blockages that the patients have. So after a patient has been diagnosed with multiple blockages in their heart arteries, they're often referred to a surgeon such as myself. What we'll do is sit down with them and talk to them about the operation that we plan on performing. It's called coronary artery bypass grafting. We'll spend time talking about what we call the conduits or the things that we use to do the bypass grafts. And the best things that we have are what are called arterial grafts. We have artery grafts in our chest that we can use, in our arm, around the stomach. The operation probably will take about three to four hours. And then after the surgery is over, the patient will go to the intensive care unit probably for about a day, and then another four or five days in the hospital. However, the total recovery time from the surgery is about six to eight weeks.